I'm now going to show an example of updating the fonts to some of the automatic aspects of C Electrical. So in V8R1, this is the uh, version I'm in, I'm finding that when I put the potentials in that um, I'm getting the font in vector format and the same thing with uh, smart boxes. Now the issue here is that all the catalog symbols are coming in with uh, Arial font. Now in the list of symbols, if I right click and go to properties, I can see there is a database right near the end called system which is normally turned off you can leave it off but I'm just showing you here that this system catalog holds a lot of the elements that are used for this automation so we go into there and we can see there are lots of symbols there for potentials and standard objects so what we need to do is use some of the commands to manage the fonts <clears throat> so under the commands panel we go to change fonts and the process is the following we need to export all of the fonts that are used in there so we get a, a list of all the font types the height and the width we then map them to a new font and then we apply them to a different catalog so first thing we're going to read from the symbols you could read from projects or for your own templates as well we tell it which symbols we're going to read from in this case we scroll down we choose the system one we then set an export file so we're going to fire and create a, an XML file with this information so system fonts.xml and then open scan symbol text it's fairly quick we then choose the map font tool so we go to font tool map fonts we can double click to run that and we look for that file that we've just created system fonts so we have a list of aerial fonts in there we can actually minimize a whole branch we don't need to change the aerial ones but the vector font ones we might want to change so here we we'll change anything that's vector perhaps to become aerial. Uh, please be aware that there is no undo command on this so you may want to take a backup of your symbols or especially the system just in case what you get is not particularly uh, what you wanted. So there's a few there which are using vector font still and they've got a particular font size. We could change the sizes there but that's all we need to change at the moment. We're changing these vector ones to use a new font aerial. Set the font mapping has saved that file so now we can go to font tool change on symbols we can select the database of symbols that we want to change in this case the same one system and we can apply a mapping which we've got now system fonts and we can replace the symbols so fairly quick once you've actually got the uh, the process we should find now if we uh, add a new top potential type a name in there and bottom one I'll put it in uppercase PE and we should find now that we're getting the new ones as being in aerial and if we just try and create a smart box so we draw a box select it right click and choose block scroll down and choose smart box give it an identification and I'll select the top and the bottom wires right click and you can see now these are in aerial font all good